Well, welcome everybody to uh, this video series on No Place Left FAQ. So another common question we get uh, among the No Place Left network is, is it legalism to teach and expect obedience to Christ and his commands? I think one particular gentleman that's helped me tremendously in regards to this is an author by the name of Dallas Willard, who passed not uh, too long ago. He once wrote a statement in one of his books that said that grace is opposed to earning. It's not opposed to effort. And that really opened up my mind to what Paul meant whenever he said we were working out our salvation with fear and trembling. You see, whenever I understand that I was saved and my identity rests in Christ, then that allows me to begin to become who Christ has declared me to be. And I can put forth effort and I can put forth um, every ounce that I have, all my heart, my soul, my mind, and my strength to see that happen in my life in partnership with the Holy Spirit. That's good. I, I agree, Dave. You know, I, I think Jesus made it pretty clear. If you love me, you will obey me. You will obey my commands. And um, we see him telling, instructing his disciples that in order to make disciples, we have to teach them to obey Jesus' commands. And even in the, the uh, climax, the end of one of the most theologically um, talked about books or epistles in Romans, Paul, he concludes uh, talking about him getting to no place left. Uh, throughout that part of the Roman Empire by saying, for I will not venture to speak anything except what Christ has accomplished through me to bring the Gentiles to obedience by word and deed. So Paul was seeking to teach these Gentiles who were new believers to obey Jesus just the way he was. Awesome. I really agree with you guys' answers. Uh, Carter, I think of John fourteen twenty one, where Jesus says, he who has my commandments and keeps them, he it is who loves me. And he who loves me will be loved by my Father, and I will love him and will disclose myself to him. Two things there. The way that I demonstrate my love to God is by obeying him. His love for me is never in question. He proved that on the cross. But he says, I will disclose myself to him. If I want to know more about Jesus, he says the way to know more about me is by mm -hmm. obeying me. And I desperately want to know my master, my, my savior. So out of appreciation, not obligation, I'm going to obey him. Thank you so much for watching the Frequently Asked Questions. Um, if you have any more questions, uh, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Also, uh, you can visit uh, the website at www.noplaceleft.net. Look forward to seeing you again as we continue to answer some of the frequently asked questions.